Hello, my name is Dr. Frank Wong. I'm both a teacher as well as the president of the Oklahoma School of Science and Mathematics. This second brief lesson is on logistic differential equations. I assume that you've already watched the first lesson on differential equations. In that lesson, we looked how a differential equation could model population growth. We began with the assumption that the rate of change of population is proportional to the population. This is really not an accurate model in real life of population growth because uh, population does not normally grow completely unchecked in an, in, a, in an uncontrolled manner. That's because we have some limiting factors. We have limited food, we have limited resources, we have limited space. So in fact, the population does not grow exponentially without bound. And uh, the more accurate model is uh, described by what's called a logistic differential equation. Let's uh, step back a little bit and remind ourselves what we did in lesson one. So in lesson one, we described uh, the, uh, the model that describes population was given as follows. dp dt is equal to kp, meaning that the rate of change of population is proportional to the population. But this is not completely an accurate model of population growth. Let's, uh, in the last lesson, I forgot to show a picture of what this uh, solution is. So just to kind of remind ourselves, it's the uh, uh, kind of the standard uh, exponential uh, growth a graph here. We only show the right side here because we're assuming that time is positive. We start from time t equals zero, where the initial population is designated by p sub zero, and we see an exponential growth. Uh, the solution being that the population uh, as a function of time, the population at time t is equal to p zero uh, e to the kt. But the more accurate model is as follows. And this is uh, the more accurate description of what uh, generally happens is we have dpdt, that the rate of change of the population is proportional to both the population and uh, the difference L minus P, where L is the limiting population or maximum population that could be uh, supported. So really this is kind of a more uh, uh, enhanced uh, model uh, of an equation that models uh, population growth because we have some limiting factors as I mentioned earlier. We have some limited, uh, uh, some limitations, for example, food or space or um, uh, uh, food or space or resources that prevents the population from uh, continuing to grow uh, without bound. And so what we have here is we have uh, the following uh, really kind of more accurately modeling population growth is we have the initial population, we have some limiting uh, population here, and we see exponential uh, growth uh, here in the early stages, but uh, some um, uh, uh, limiting population that uh, causes this graph to be uh, asymptotic uh, to uh, this line here, this line uh, uh, which is uh, a height uh, L, above the uh, t-axis over here. And so the solution that we have to the logistic differential equation, uh, dp dt is equal to kp times the quantity L minus p uh, is as follows. So we have a p of t is equal to L, that's our limiting uh, population, a limiting number, all over one plus ce to the negative lkt. And so L and k are, and are both known, but C has to be determined. <clears throat> C has to be determined uh, by some uh, information that's given in the problem. If we know the population at a particular time, uh, we can uh, plug into this equation and uh, solve for uh, solve for C over here. And so this uh, concludes our brief lesson on uh, logistic differential equations.